All right, YouTube. Welcome to my channel again. And here we have the 2018 CBR 250R. So to give you an introduction about myself, myself Strel from Bangalore, and I own a 2015 model CBR 250R, and I've been riding it for around three years and clocked around 35,000 kilometers. So this video is mostly going to be from my own personal experience and a quick review. In the sense, I'll be, I'll, I'll try to make it as elaborate as possible from my ownership experience also. So let's get started. So now, first, let's talk about uh, the braking capacity of this motorcycle. Actually, I felt this is one among the best brakes that you can see in a single cylinder motorcycle. This is a, a non ABS variant. What I'll tell that always go for an ABS variant of uh, this motorcycle because it's always a safety feature. You need to go for it and uh, the braking capacity of this motorcycle is wonderful when you compare the braking capacity of this motorcycle with others like apache ra310 or the ktm duke 390 i'll tell that this is not as good as a ktm 390 but it is b better than an uh, apache ra310 so yes uh, in bangalore the on-road price of abs is uh, 2,40,000 and the non-ibs is 2,4,000 what i personally feel is that you always go for the abs version because that's actually an additional feature when you uh, take it on Indian roads. And I got to know that uh, with the new tax revision and all, within a month, this prices will also go high. That makes it uh, this motorcycle a bit more expensive. Now let's talk about the gearbox uh, and the feel when you ride it in the city. So as far as that uh, 35,000 kilometers which I drove, I haven't felt any kind of a false neutral coming in between unless you have a uh, saggy chain if your chain is not properly maintained you might tend to get uh, a wrong shift or you you cannot shift or a false neutral otherwise uh, i didn't face any problem like that actually that is something uh, which you could expect from any motorcycle let me tell you one thing i'm not just boasting that i'm i've uh, ridden 35000 kilometers on this motorcycle the thing is like i myself consider as a beginner on this motorcycle even with that 35k which i ran uh, from my personal experience talking to the owners and all i'll tell that this motorcycle could go even beyond 1 lakh or 1.5 lakhs kilometer so this 35000 kilometer i rode is like a beginner i will consider myself an uh, intermediate rider when i cross 50000 kilometer again we consider the people who has crossed more than 1 lakh kilometer to be the experts and uh, those who have crossed the 1.5 kilometer lakh uh, part we will call them as the einstein or uh, or the stephen hawkins on this motorcycle because they never talk to us they just keep on riding so you see that people are riding this motorcycle for that much long this has been launched in 2011 and people have crossed the 1.5 lakh kilometers okay so let's get into the review so yes so let's look at the clutch feel so this clutch is very much light this is one of the lightest clutch that i've seen on a single cylinder motorcycle uh, so the good part of it is that you could uh, ride with this kind of a clutch in the city for a longer time and most probably you won't use it uh, while cruising on a highway but this clutch is very much ideal for the city so the clutch and the gearbox that kind of a combination makes this motorcycle to very ideal to be in the city riding condition i want to ask you guys one thing okay do you guys believe in magic if not i'll i'll show you two things two magical things on this motorcycle the first thing is the engine and the second thing is the seat this seat is way comfortable that you can imagine because i could say that uh, like i was just recovered from a dengue fever and i was riding this motorcycle for around six seven hours and i traveled to kerala and i came back so you could imagine that i already had body pain i rode this motorcycle for around six seven hours one direction and came back so that means the comfort level of this seat is way far that you can imagine so now let's see the pillion seat let's talk about the pillion seat now this is also as much comfortable as this rider seat so if you want to know about it you just go for the apache ra310 uh, pillion ride review where my pillion talks so much about this motorcycle than the apache ra think that i'm gonna buy this motorcycle and have this as my primary unit than my cbr 250r do you like it or you don't like it no i prefer cbr <laughs> And the grab rails of this motorcycle is ideally placed even though if the pillion is lean or fluffy, uh, they'll be able to hold it correctly. And one another uh, thing which I want to tell over here is that uh, this is actually a slightly a slanted seat. So the thing is that if you are planning to take your mom 
or someone who is a bit uh, elder on the pillion seat will be slightly difficult for that person to climb just one thing is because the foot peg is slightly high not that much but it is slightly high i tried to take my mom on this motorcycle After, the only problem was to get onto this motorcycle and get down otherwise she was much comfortable she was uh, comfortably sitting on the motorcycle and enjoyed the ride i should say so now let's talk about the engine this engine is the super smooth engine that you could see in the 250 cc segment i mean i don't have to talk anything about that honda just engineered it in 2011 and they are maintaining it like that that means it is a super strong engine i never have seen a person who had an engine breakdown on a honda cbr 250r i mean seriously telling people you just go to any other cbr forums and search for things and let's talk about the build quality now i will i will uh, i'll share one of my experience to talk about the build quality actually i have dropped my motorcycle three times two times in the parking lot and one time on a <laughs> middle of the road so all the time it, what it happened is that uh, the first two times the side stand got slipped actually for me i was washing my motorcycle and it was all soap water over there and i slipped the side stand i didn't fell down the another time i was taking a u turn in the middle of the road and i slipped my right leg and i left the motorcycle towards the right side so what all happened is that that time when i dropped in the uh, parking lot the bike actually rested on this and this so what actually happened is that this lever got bent and this lever got bent apart from that nothing happened actually not even a single uh, break or a scratch on the the fairing so that means it is a well built motorcycle even when uh, i was trying to take the motorcycle up i was having fever so i was in able to pick it up i had three falls attempts i tried picking it up and i dropped it again like that i tried three times and it fall on this portion and this portion got bent that's all so later i managed to get someone else from the road and uh, uh, that person helped me to uh, lift the motorcycle up yeah to talk about the heaviness of the bike then i should say that this is slightly heavy when you compare it in the segment it's probably because of the fairing and you have a heavy engine so altogether it's a slightly heavy motorcycle but it is okay you can ride it in the city without much problems and in highway you'll feel so much planned with this motorcycle okay now let's talk about the pickup of this motorcycle this motorcycle doesn't have that much of torque in the low end so it, it might be failing in drag races with many other motorcycle but the top end is really nice so let's talk about the rpm ranges that you see so in this motorcycle so your sweet spot is around 5 k rpm so in 5.5 k rpm and 6 gear what you get is around a speed of 88 km per hr and if it is 6.5 uh k rpm then it the speed is around 106 and way after that it climbs over and you could go up to a speed of 150 i think uh, i i never check the speeds on these things and all those times you need your eyes on the road that's why so let's talk about the instrument cluster now so this instrument cluster is actually a bit minimal one you have the time you have the fuel meter uh, the heat indicator the total kilometers and one trip meter so it actually misses two trip meters and it doesn't have a gear position indicator but the positive thing that i felt about this uh, instrument cluster is that the fuel indicator is ultimately accurate whatever motorcycle that i've ridden this has one of the most accurate fuel meter actually it doesn't betray you at all that's what i'll say now let's talk about the handlebar position and the seating that you have on this motorcycle so it's kind of a sports touring setup where you have a slightly inclined body posture the handlebar is actually uh, rightly placed so that you can slightly incline and sit on this motorcycle and enjoy touring a lot and this wind visor will give you a wind protection until 110 when you are sitting almost kind of upright after that you need to tuck down to the that a uh, wind curve which has been created and you can comfortably uh, ride afterwards i mean i have taken it to 150s and all but i have seen that people who was taken to 165 and plus or don't know 170 is also one number which i saw in a photo now let's talk about the vibration of this motorcycle i'll say mum about it because this motorcycle doesn't vibrates at all in the sense it only has that feel that the engine is running apart from that there are no kind of vibration which comes for the fairing or anything to the foot peg or the pillion foot peg or to the handlebars even the mirrors doesn't vibrates 
just like what you see in some other motorcycle i don't want to quote any other thing but yeah vibration there is no other kind of a vibration issue that you see on this motorcycle let's talk about the heating issue of this motorcycle this actually has a good amount of heat dissipation so what i'll tell that if you try riding this motorcycle in uh, uh, dead traffic for more than 20 minutes then then some amount of heat will come to your leg through this portion apart from that you don't face any kind of a uh, heating issue on this motorcycle i'm very much satisfied with that point on this motorcycle now let's talk about the suspension of this motorcycle actually the the front suspension is actually much plushier it will give you a very good comfortable feel when you ride it in the city conditions it could soak up all the unevenness on the road it's way balanced and in a, another sense actually it gives you much confidence to ride this motorcycle in higher speeds on the other side you have the rear suspension there is also you have three modes uh, high low and medium where you set it and you will get a plushy and uh, very comfortable touring kind of setup so to talk about the front suspension i have kept my front suspension slightly onto a, a stiffer side by increasing the fork oil uh, the reason is because I'll get much more feedback when I do cornering and all, just for that purpose. Uh, those who are planning to buy this motorcycle, just stay to the stock uh, until you cross the 30,000 kilometers. After that, just think of modifying anything else on this motorcycle. So let's talk about the tires. This motorcycle comes with Condigo tires. The rear is 140 section and the front is 110 section. So actually, this is not the best tire that you could get. I'm not just degrading this tire, okay? I'm just telling that when you uh, start using different tires you will understand that you will get better tires than this this is almost like you giving bata school shoes to Usain Bolt for a 100 meter sprint race because when you uh, go to a Michelin Pilot Street which is one of the most uh, economic tire that you can get for this motorcycle it has good rain grip it has uh, it is fun in corners and it has good life also and you can put uh, Metzelers also you could put Pirelli's also which is actually a more fun oriented tires these tires are okay but it's not good in uh, rainy conditions that's what my personal feel as well as other riders personal feel now let's talk about these mirrors these mirrors do does the job very well actually uh, only thing is it is uh, a bit insanely wide when you uh, see it from a city riding point of view otherwise it is doing the job and with the new led headlight i'll tell that i just checked it over here and i feel that it is uh, lighting the road uh, well and I saw two YouTube videos yesterday which they were telling that it is lighting up the road well and I could see that in the video also. So I don't have any uh, comments on the lighting with the new LED setup. Let me just light and show it to you. So now let's talk about the refinement of this motorcycle. This motor is ultimately refined. Uh, as I told, uh, the ideal cruise speed of this motorcycle is 110 to 120 where you don't find any stress from the engine side. Even it could go to 140, 150 where the engine doesn't get stressed actually. So the refinement wise, I'll tell that this is 10 out of 10. Now let's talk about the exhaust node. Actually once I uh, get this motorcycle for a longer test drive, what I'll do is I'll uh, try to give you a pure exhaust node. Until then you just hear how it sounds. And let's talk about the power delivery actually. The power delivery is actually linear. It doesn't intimidate you at any point of time. It is very good for a, uh, a beginner rider also. Now, let the final question be, is it value for the money? So I have a different perspective of uh, this question because if you are that person who has been crying from 2017 mid when this motorcycle got discontinued saying that hey, you discontinued uh, from your segment, here is your motorcycle, go and buy it. Ja Simran, ja. Ja Simran, ja. And if you are a person who is uh, concerned about your pillion ride quality, you can consider this motorcycle because this is one among the best motorcycle you could get for pillion in a single cylinder. Because I felt that you compare it with the Apache RR310 or the KTM or the FZ25, the Dominar, this will be the best seat that you could give for your pillion. And if you are someone who is actually a power freak person and uh, you want to rip around in the city and all, I will 
say that you could go with the Duke models, the Duke 200 or the 250 or the 390s. 390, I'll never tell for a beginner. Just stick with the 200 and the 250. Just don't jump onto the 390 directly. And if you are someone who are tight on budget and you want everything and you want to tour also, stick with Dominar. This you go when you feel that you need a motorcycle for years to ride, okay? I'm seeing many people who are using this motorcycle from 2000 level and it is 2018 now and they're using it for seven years and nothing has actually happened. Okay, let's talk about the service and the mileage. So in the city, I'm getting around 28 to uh, 30, 32 and on the highway, I'm getting around uh, 33 or 235. So you could ride this motorcycle much more sanely and you'll get a mileage of around 38 and all. But the, what's the fun in it? You could, you should ride this motorcycle in the power. Actually, it has a very good top end. You should utilize it. Then, you, then also you'll get around uh, 35 to 38 kilometer per liter. Now let's talk about the maintenance. This you need to service this motorcycle once in 6,000 kilometers or once in six months, where it costs you around 2,000 to 3,000 rupees, which is not bad at all. So whenever you uh, hit with a, a heavy service, then only you need to spend extra amount. What I meant by heavy service is that any tire change or a sprocket change, otherwise no no other thing. So the sprocket is changed once in 15,000 kilometers and tire, it is a, according to usage, this tire I feel that it will last for around 25,000 or 30,000 kilometers. If you are putting Michelin Pilot Street, it will come down to 20,000. If Metzelers or Pirelli, then probably the tire life is around 10k. So that's it with this video. It is almost from my own personal experience and things. So if you have any doubts on this motorcycle, feel free to comment. And if you are from Bangalore, uh, try joining the Bangalore CBR Riders group. You have all the information there in the group. Okay, see you in the next video. Goodbye.